there's roughly 100 acres in this farm rented here but there's only 75 that we can graze full time and the rest of it has to be managed just for biodiversity because it's into a wetland and it's quite marshy so just from an environmental point of view I think it's better looked after. We just manage grazing on it really carefully because if it's overgrazed we lose it and if it's not grazed it's not good for the biodiversity as well. There's a whole hive of plants and species living in it at the minute. We changed our hedge cutting technique on our mature hedges, so instead of box hedging every year, we've changed it to every three years. We've introduced ponds and like that, just managing the habitats that's here as Loch Gar is a specially protected area. I think it's important to look after what we have and especially since we're in a biodiversity crisis now at the minute, everything that we can do as young farmers and older farmers to enhance the environment needs to be done. I'm just in my third year of farming here and I've got into the REAP scheme last year so I was already interested in the environment but it's already enhanced my knowledge of what's required and what we need to do in the future, especially as we're in a biodiversity crisis at the minute. So there was a number of actions that was part of that scheme. We had to examine our boundaries, so hedge lines, tree lines. Then we had to examine our low input pasture, so what biodiversity was in that. So we had loads of different flora and fauna, such as sedges and bird's foot and meadow sweet and a whole host of different species of grasses and flowers. And then obviously, I'm here in a specially protected area, so we have the wetlands in the background as well, so they all had to be fenced off to protect them from livestock, just right along the lake edge. I got great satisfaction out of it, just to see that the results of what you're doing, that you're picking the right animals, that you're researching the breeding that goes into them, and then you're monitoring their performance constantly, and then to see the prices that's reflected, it is quite rewarding. Uh, it's meant a great deal just to be recognised for the actions that we've completed in previous years and we are currently doing. We slightly changed the grazing management of the low-lying lands here, so we graze them off in the autumn really tight and we'll see the results of it now. We've identified more flowers in it this year than we did last year, so the score is actually higher. I'm also planting another 60 metres of hedges this year, so that's improved my score for this year as well. So there's other schemes there that's been there in the past, such as reps and loss. So it's nothing new to a lot of farmers, the environmental challenges, but we can just keep getting better and better and better. Like even since I joined the REAP, I've learned so much, and every day is a learning day. Farmers in the whole have a great interest in the biodiversity of their farms. Like there's no biodiversity, they've no life in it. And even it's probably more important even for other sectors, such as tillage as well, like they need pollen for all their plants and then the amount of wildlife that's at stake at the minute like we see the crisis with the curlew would be just one that's one crisis and there's a threat to bees now at the minute as well so that might be something I might consider putting in as a few bee boxes in the next year or two here as well so just especially with with all the flowers we have here I think it might be a good option.